Hey everybody, it's EK from EK Gorman Designs and I am sneaking in today to do an unboxing video from the for the August White Rose Crafts um, subscription box. It just got here in the mail. I have literally done enough to open it. I have no idea what's inside. I know the theme is under the sea um, and that's honestly the extent of what I know that's in here. So you get to come see with me for the first time what's in the next month's subscription box. Um, before I open it though, I do know that to get the box to me in time so I could do this, they left something out of it. There is an additional die that I'll be getting here shortly in the mail. It wasn't, it, long story short, it wasn't in this box, but it's only not in my box. It's in all the other boxes and it will be here shortly. Um, I don't know what the die is. I don't even know who makes it, but I do know it connects to the theme. So, die to come. You'll see it in my projects this month. But, ready to see the box? Here we go. Opening. Okay, I'm gonna pull the box in my lap and pull things out one at a time so we can look at them individually. Actually, so you know I'm not cheating. Whoa. Now, let's go through things. As always, I like to start with papers, so let's see if I can do this. And like I said, it this month's theme is a, let's see, let me try to tuck everything in. Um, it's a vintage box. Last month was a bold and bright. This one is more of a shabby chic vintage. And it's got an underwater theme. And I am already in love with a couple of these images. Like, it looks like very old school um, Little Mermaid. Okay, I'm gonna try to clear everything out of my desk because I'm looking at everything and it's driving me nuts. So we can just look at the papers. I can do this, I can do this. See, I'm not prepared and I don't know what's in here. Except for now that I'm touching things, I wanna touch things more and see what's more in here. Okay, first paper. These are the toppers. So it comes on a 12 by 12 sheet, but you can cut it up. It is by Peon. Pion Designs, I could very much be saying this wrong. Anyway, that's the toppers. Now let's get into the six by six papers. And again, there's six by six papers that come on 12 by 12 sheets. So here are the first two. I love the colors. Sometimes vintage papers I'm not crazy about because they're very, very muted. And while these are muted, I am really excited to play with these colors. Look how fun these are. I like that there are a lot of, sometimes vintage papers aren't neutral or shabby chic papers aren't neutral. These are very, there's a lot of great neutrals here. Ooh, and there's another one with a little mermaid image, image. But again, some more really great, like subtle. So there are 16 six by six papers plus the toppers and there are eight, 10, 14 potential toppers if you use the 12 by 12 page. And I'm flipping over to make sure there's nothing on the back. They are all white on the back. So those are the papers. Let's get into the stuff. Um, I don't, I, I threw everything on the floor because I'm not smart. I, I'm, you're gonna watch my hand for a second as I bring everything back into my lap so I can do it one by one. Um, like I said, the die is missing. Ah, there goes my hand because I'm knocking things over. Come back. Let's see if I can pull the stamp out. Oh, here, we'll start with this. Since we did the papers, we'll take... I'm knocking stuff over. I wish you could see how dirty my desk actually is. My desk is a mess. So this comes in here. So, oh, fun. It's, um... Another pre-made, or it's a shaker card. If you haven't seen, these are fun. But this is adhesive here. So it can stick in, you can throw in your shaker bits and make a simple card. And it comes with an envelope. And then, oh, fun, pre-made cards. So with matching envelope. Light blue. And teal, fun. So there's three pre-made folded cards with matching envelopes, plus the shaker card with envelopes. What's next? Okay, 
let's see what this is. See, it's like Christmas every month. You get these things and you're like, what's in them? These look like some die cuts. Oh, they're, oh, that's fun. Okay, this is chipboard. So it's a nice, really heavy stock, thick board. But these are felt. So this is a gray felt. And we're gonna go with an aquamarine felt. Very pretty. What's next? Ooh, I don't even know what this is. Okay, so this is a stamp. Where are my scissors? Um, if you've never met me, and so many of you haven't met me in real life, I cut my stance open from the top because I find that if you use the bottom too much, anyway, I open it from the top and use them as long as the packaging will hold up. When the packaging fails, I get another envelope for them to be in. This packaging may fail today. There we go. I'm in. I'm in. So this is a stamp from Perfect Partners. It's a doodle craft stamp. Okay, so it's red. Oh, I love red rubber. I may be one of the few crafters who still adore red rubber. The detail, like you can, can you see the detail of that? The detail of red rubber still holds up better than clear. I like the convenience of clear because there's just something easy about cleaning it, but I still adore red rubber. This will be fun. This will be able to make really, like you'll be able to put stuff. I'm kind of excited about playing with these. So these are Dewcrafts. It's from their Urban, it's the Dewcrafts Paper Made Urban Stamps. I love red rubber. Anybody who says red rubber is um, old school? No. And I'm digging, I'm digging. And then there is a second stamp set. This one is from Prima. This one's clear and it goes absolutely perfectly with this theme. See, I should open my boxes before I get here and so you don't have to watch me cut things open, but alas, I'm not that smart. So there's a ship and some flowers and a compass rose. All right, did I take it out? It shows better like that. Oh, I'm, I, this is gonna be fun. I like that they're, like I'm naturally a colorer, but there's something about the lines in the ship that make me very excited to play with it. Now into the, the bits and the bobs. Um, there are always some kind of sticker in White Rose Crafts um, subscription boxes. And I think these may be my favorite yet. So these are on um, three-dimensional tape. They're three-dimensionally adhered to each other and they're all shells. Look at that, and can you see the glitter? Can you see the shine and sparkle on these? For scrapbookers out there, especially, these are gonna be awesome. I am so excited to have a summer theme box because all of my pictures for my family and this summer are coming in and I'm going to want to start putting things together. Which I won't show because I don't show families of my pictures. I'm a fire boy. The kids have requested. I have honored. Okay, next. I'm actually really excited about this. So I have a Wink Acela marker, but I have a um, just, you know, your basic glitter one, the, the clear one. I haven't seen... Let me see if I can find a piece of paper. Okay, it's a piece of blue paper, but it's peeps paper. Let's see what the blue one looks like. So if you've never used a Wink of Stella, it comes with this ring. You pop the ring off and you screw it back in until you hear the, there it is, the little pop that says it's on. And then to prime it, you kind of give it a little squeeze. See the pushes? You push, you do the pushing. You push it out and you get the ink to flow. Of course I'm doing this on live time, so it's not going to be any good. Here we go. I see it coming. It's coming. It's coming. There we go. I just had to be more aggressive in my pushing. Once. There you go. See? You can start to see it coming out. Okay, so it's a blue wink of Stella. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that's going to be fun. Is it water soluble? Because I only own the clear one, I haven't ever tried to add water. This is mine. This didn't come in the box. This is mine. Ooh, it is water soluble. 
And this is just really cheap cardstock. It's not like I'm using watercolor paper or anything. And that's definitely moving. Oh, that's gonna be fun to play with. Especially in a whole underwater theme. Okay, so there's the Wink of Stella. And there's an ink pad, so while I have my paper out, I'm gonna bring out the ink pad. So this is a Scrap Berries ink pad. We have seen the Scrap, I have used the Scrap Berries Stains, which is a water soluble ink. It works a little bit like Distress, if you're familiar with Distress. But this one is the Pigment ink pad. So not a dye, it's definitely a pigment. <gasps> but it's a good brown. Ooh, 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 look at that. You're gonna be able to make cool sand fix. You do it right. Look at that. You got sand. And I'm sure it's gonna ink up beautifully, but look at the sand. It's okay. Winkasella and the Scrap Berries Pigment Ink. Slide you off to the side. What else do we get? What other toys? We get more toys. Oh, we got ribbons. White Rose Crafts has the best ribbons. I have never been a ribbon user, really. Not really, like I'll like sometimes throw a touch of ribbon on something. But since pl I started playing around with White Rose Craft stuff and their boxes, I've gotten into ribbons because you can do cool stuff with them. So you got three colors and they go, I can't get to the papers right now, but they go beautifully with those papers. Look at that, the blue, the cream, the green. And I like that they're different sizes. So one side's matte, nope, they're both, yeah. One side is more matte and the other side's satin. So I'm guessing this is a satin ripper in there. Yay! So ribbon, tuck you off. And then in addition to the ribbon, I think we're gonna use the word raffia, that we have some raffia here. It is a green and a blue raffia, which I don't, I've never used this before. This is gonna be fun to play with. So we got raffia in addition to the ribbon. Okay, and then some wood pieces, and they appear, a palm tree, shell, seashells, some, we're gonna go with kelp. We're gonna go with the word kelp. So we've got the wood pieces. And then, ooh, they're not silver. The metal pieces. I'm so used to metal pieces being silver that this is kind of fun. So, ooh, does it have a dangly bit? It has a dangly bit. The dangly bit has a dangly bit. So these two are brassy looking. And then the clamshell is silver. And, these, haha, ha, there's a funny story. These, I remember talking to Kay about the box and she was sitting there um, literally like doling out the shells and she's like, it's the most therapeutic thing. I can't explain why sitting and doling out the shells is therapeutic, but it is. But it's a whole bag of seashells. And then last, but certainly not least, is a Nautical Legends Sparkle Blends um, sequin pack, and this is exclusive to the August 2018 card kit. Sparkle Blends, if you don't know, makes up uh, a batch of sequins and sells them, and then when that batch is sold out, they're gone forever. So if you ever see a Sparkle Blend you want, and you're like, oh, I'll get it later, don't get it later, it might be gone forever. But this one is exclusive just to this card kit. And look, it matches everything perfectly. Oh, there's little anchors. So I love Sparkle Blends. One of my favorite things about the Sparkle Blend brand are these. She has, she always puts great little like diamond jewels in them. And I don't have diamond jewels. Like I am notorious for digging the diamonds out of the Sparkle Blends. But look, I love, there's such a variety of sparkles or of sequins in this mix. And because I didn't dump it out, I'm sure there's stuff here that I'm not seeing, but I love the anchor. Look at that. Anyway. So there we go. Here is the August box. I will have out shortly my five fast things to, or five fast cards to, uh, five fast cards you can make with the kit. That will be out shortly, but here's the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Definitely pre-order. The box is on pre-order. It starts shipping August 1st. And I'm very excited to get playing with this one. This um, I'm not normally a shabby chic vintage th 
feel girl. And yet something about all these colors and all this collection makes me very excited to play with the kit. So cool. Look forward to see, uh, I look forward to showing you what I do with this, these, pro this project and tune back in later. Bye.